Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. I'm gonna to share with you a quick meditation that you can do using selenite wands. Selenite is a beautiful stone that I love to have. I've had it in my collection for quite some time. And it's actually one of my most favorite. And I'm gonna show you right oh, now. Oh, look at these. Yes, I can be a little extra. Just a little bit, but these are my selenite wands that I purchased um, from one of my vendors that I have based out of, oh my God, look at that look at that based out of Connecticut it's just beautiful the way it captures light and it reflects light and selenite is named after the moon goddess the moon Greek goddess Selene and if you check online or if you're familiar with Greek mythology you'll know the story behind um, Selene but selenite is named after that goddess and it's just a beautiful beautiful crystal to have in your collection um, what I do with this is I keep uh, my other little stones my other little crystals on top of here because selenite cleanses itself so it really doesn't need any sort of um, cleansing although I do like to cleanse it with a little bit of uh, tobacco smoke or incense or smudge or even put it out in the sunlight or in the moonlight not too much because you don't want it to crack as it is a little sensitive but selenite is truly an amazing amazing crystal now they do come in different sizes um this is probably the biggest that i've seen so far and i'm sure they are now if you also check online you'll see that there are caves in mexico that are just completely completely overrun with these rods and i'm talking about just sizes of huge beams just underground with selenite so just being able to see this in nature i can only imagine how beautiful that must be so make sure you also check online some of the uh, caves selenite caves in mexico which shows you the amazing amazing um qualities of these crystals underground um the powers that these crystal has um varies but it is pretty much in the line of purification cleansing balancing um just reaching higher realms within yourself um other feelings that i've gotten during meditation also angelic communication i think this is a great stone for communication because it helps open your heart it helps open your mind it helps clarify it helps you focus it just makes you feel so so clean and just so extremely calming when I have these stones. So these are the biggest ones that I have, but I'm gonna show you some little ones that I have as well. Hold on. Now this side, these sizes are a little bit more ideal than the bigger ones that I, ooh, that I have sitting back there. Wait, wait, before they fall. But this is my ideal size to have, and this, you can keep them anywhere. I like to keep one at my nightstand sometimes. I keep one here in front of my computer just to mitigate any sort of toxic energy that may be coming from the computer, both um, electromagnetic energy as well, just energy overall of people that you may communicate with online. So here are my smaller ones. This is my favorite one because it seems to be... So this size is perfect. You can most definitely have sizes like this. And I also have one at work, which is a little tower. They do come in little towers. I've also seen some that have LED lights in them as well. So there are many varieties and ways that you can use and have selenite crystals. But I like the wands. I don't know, for some reason, I'm more attracted to the wands. I like to use it and just do some power meditation or just clarifying my aura. I would take it and just start from the crown of my head moving down to my third eye my throat area my heart and just continue downward and just cleanse myself so very versatile very useful those big ones that i have back there i mostly use them as mentioned just to clear up the room or clarify any room and to also put in my um you can use well. um you can also make um selenite water with this how i use it is now you don't want to dip it in because as you can see, well, these, I had them at the beach, so they have a little bit of sand over them. But they do tend to lose a little bit of their, of their sightings because they're, they're like layered, like in layers. So sometimes um, some of the layers may come off. So you always want to be careful with those particles and wash your hands afterwards. Or if you're going to infuse anything, make sure that it doesn't fall into anything that you may be ingesting or anything like that. So that's pretty much um, my favorites. These are 
of my favorites right now that I've been using. Selenite, again, is an amazing stone to have for you to, you know, capture light. That's how I like to play with it when I'm in the mirror. I like to reflect the light um, from my light bulbs or sometimes in the sunlight as well. It just looks so beautiful and amazing. So as mentioned, um, use selenite for for peace, for balance, for clarity of mind to help you focus and stay in balance. It's always very important to, yes, do for your children, do for work, do for school, do for the bills and everything. But how about you? Have you taken some time to clarify yourself and just balance yourself? So make sure you practice some self-care for yourself I'm using a little bit of selenite. I don't have any at my shop at this time, but make sure that you do check out periodically and subscribe to our newsletter as well so you can be the first to know when we do have them available. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you got something out of today's video and that you are filled with light. And so I'm going to show you a quick day. meditation that you can do using a selenite wand or any crystal of your choice as well. It doesn't matter the size. As long as you're able to have one on each hand or just a, a bunch on each hand as well can work and you will just pass them over your aura as normal. But today I'm going to show you how I do it. Grab these two that I have here on my altar. One of my many altars and I'm just going to completely just relax myself <clears throat> and breathe. And this will help you calm yourself down and just bring yourself into the moment. So if you especially have a lot going on before you get into the meditation, this will help calm you and just bring you into the present moment where you're at now. All right. So the first thing we want to do is start from the top. And you can start with a small prayer or any sort of affirmation as you go along. And I like to start at the crown of my head. Uh, selenite wands are great for crown chakra work, especially if you're looking to open your mind, as I mentioned, to bring clarity and peace, um, to resolve any sort of anger that you may have or any sort of issues or problems or just overthinking or worry, anxiety, tension. This will help calm you and bring you to peace. Remember, you always want to give time for yourself. So you give yourself a moment here, you pray, you give yourself an affirmation, you declare the reason why you're doing this and you move forward. And passing your third eye, your throat, and your heart area, chest, downward, all the way down to my feet, and then release forward, and just come back. Now, these are a little heavy and bigger, but you can definitely do it easier with the other smaller selenite wands that I do have. Now the smaller versions, as mentioned, you can start with your crown chakra here. And selenite wands are great for this because they're very versatile and very useful and super handy. So as mentioned, you breathe, let go. go and release so that is how you can do any sort of meditation with any sort of crystal or wand that you want to have it's very important to give yourself time to give yourself a moment of just release and for you to see what is going on in my life what is it that I need for myself to move forward on to the next goal so I hope that this has worked for you, that you got something out of today's video. Make sure that you subscribe and you hit the like button below so that way I can make sure that I know what content you like and I can bring that for you as well. To find any sort of selenite crystals or wands, make sure to visit the shop and link down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.